touch upon, which is really important, is links. And we're not just talking about links coming into the site. We're also talking about links going out of the site, but also interlinking of your pages. Now, inbound links, just like I said, are valuable, and that's people linking to your site. And outbound links are also valuable. And there's a lot more, and we'll discuss that a little bit more in the future, but an inbound link is so important in the fact that it's like a vote of confidence. If a site's linking to you and you're not linking in return, but they're linking to you, they go, hey, if that site's linking to you regarding this piece of content, you must be a better, you must be a trusted source. So that's basically, hey, that site's saying, hey, you're a good piece of content. We need to be linking to you. So that helps your ranking. Outbound links are also important too, because remember, think of the user. So if you're writing a, an article about blue widgets and you find another really great, highly relevant um, article for some aspect of your article and say, hey, to learn more about this, go to this site, that shows that you're a valuable resource. You're really building up that piece of content, giving it depth. You're going to hear me say that with content quite a bit, giving that content depth. So outbound links are a good thing as well if you're linking to good sites that are highly relevant to your content that bring more value to your readers. Another thing, anchor text is extremely important with links, both going out of your site but also coming into your site. It helps tell the, um, helps tell the search engines why are you linking to them. Um, so instead of having abc.com, you know, website.com, if you're going with, blue, you know, if you're linking to that site or that site's linking to you for blue widgets, having a, a keyword within that hyperlink is extremely valuable. And quantity does matter. You know, the more quality links, the better. Quite simply, the more votes you get, the more it's going to help your rankings. And I touched upon this at the beginning, interlinking is extremely important. So how your pages within your own site link to each other. You know, are there keywords in the addresses? But also, once again, user experience. If somebody's reading an article, and then you, if they want to read more about a certain aspect of that article, and then you go, hey, if you want to learn more about this certain aspect, here's a link to that article within this website. You're improving the user experience. You're giving the content more depth. They're giving the website more depth. They're going to stick around. They're going to have a good user experience. Google's going to want to rank you higher for that term because you're giving a stronger user experience. And then finally, of the three core elements, rank brain. So what's rank brain? Rank, rank brain, bleh, my tongue's not working right now, but Google announced that they were actually using rank brain in 2015. And this is a part of Google's core algorithm, which uses machine learning um, to determine what's the most relevant results to search engines. So basically, Back in the olden days, people used to do this to confirm results. Now RankBrain's doing it. And I actually cited a link here that gives a very good overview of RankBrain at, at a high level. And you, there's tons of copy about RankBrain out there if you want to learn more. But that's a very good high-level um, article around, around RankBrain. And once again, we'll be sending out this deck. So if somebody misses it, don't worry about it. You'll have this in your hands. So a little bit more about rank brain. This is different, and you guys will see this in your own search results. They're using different signals now to inform queries. So let's take an example of Steakhouse. You know, I do a search for Steakhouse. A few years ago, if I did a search for Steakhouse, it would just look at, okay, what website out there has the best content about Steakhouses, has the most links, and I'm oversimplifying, but that's really kind of where it would look at. Now with RankBrain, they're looking at a ton of different things. They're looking at your location. Like me, you know, LSC Digital, we're in Bethel, Connecticut. So if I do a search for steakhouse, it's going to know off of that context, hey, Dave's looking for a steakhouse probably within 20 miles of his current location versus if I was down in New York City, which is an hour and a half away from here. Um, it also looks at my search habits in the past. What do I like? What don't I like? And then also, and we'll talk a little bit more about this, content freshness. Hey, this site gets a ton of reviews. They just updated their daily special. So now instead of being this very straightforward um, algorithmic decisions, basically, hey, these are the rules. 
did somebody who has the most links, who has the most content, versus now based off of Dave's experience, where Dave is at, and really finding the context for those searches. So that's really what Right Brain is bringing into the picture now. And then also, too, this is important for you to know, because just like with users, you can become, in Rank Brain's mind, if Rank Brain always sees you show up for these searches and the users get a ex good experience and you're a good result, you will be seen as trusted by, rank, by the Rank Brain um, machine learning. So that's something to keep in mind. And then, and I bring up that same chart from that fateful day back in October 2011, Rank Brain really did kill the days of one keyword, one page. That's gone. You know, I use the example here, back not too long ago, you know, if you were selling spatulas, you would have an SEO person say to you, okay, you need a spatula page, you need a spatulas page, you need a kitchen spatula page, you need a pancake turner, a metal spatula, and you need to have pages for that and content around that. Once again, thin content, just like we were talking about before, but Rank Brain can figure that out. Rank Brain can go, hey, I know those six, seven pieces of content are all about a spatula. It can judge that type of relevancy. So the days of having tons of you know, keywords like that where they're pretty much saying the same thing, but then optimizing that you're wasting your time. It doesn't work anymore. If anybody's right recommending that to you, um, you should really be doing it. Um, it's a little bit different um, as far as product pages, you know, because you'll have the CX1 zero five spark plug and then the cx51089 spark plug it's not the same type of thing because they're two different products but as far as this example you know you wouldn't go okay i'm going to optimize for spark plug then spark plugs so and oh then i'm going to intentionally misspell that was another thing the spelling of spark plugs that's a complete waste of time